Hey guys, it's Melissa, and I am here to record another video for you. This one's going to be different than my last one, which was a tutorial. This one I'm going to do um, a review of a bunch of different products that I've been using over the past 30 days. And I don't know whether to call it my peaks and pits, or my faves and fails, or something else. I don't know. But leave your comments below. Let me know what you think this should be called. And I'm also going back and forth. I guess it just kind of depends on what I get if I'm going to do this like every two weeks or every month or I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to go over. I have about 10 products here that I'm going to review for you and let you know what worked for me, what didn't work for me. I do just want you to keep in mind that makeup can be very subjective, so something that works for me may not work for you, and I may dislike a product and you love it. So just keep that in mind that it, something doesn't always work across the board for everybody, that it, it can work for some people and not for someone else. So these are just my opinions on what has or has not worked for me over the past 30 days. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to go over with you is a brush set that I picked up. Now most of the brushes in my collection are e.l.f. brushes or Essence of Beauty brushes. They're pretty inexpensive brushes. I don't have like a really fancy set of brushes. And I always look at the Sonia Kashuk line when I'm in Target and her brushes typically run between $15 and $20 for one brush, which is more than I'm ever willing to spend on a brush. Um, however, I happened to be in this store a couple weeks ago, and every now and then the Sony Kashuk products go on um, clearance, and that's what this was. So I got a brush set, and it was six brushes, six brushes, and a clutch, or a bag, um, for about $13 for the set of this. So I couldn't pass it up, I had to grab it. So I'm just going to tell you what each brush is, and give you my overall review of them. It came with a blush brush. This has been my perfect blush brush. I love it. It's perfect for my blush. It's perfect for contouring, getting a little bit of bronzer around the face. It's a good size. Um, this was like an Into the Wild collection. So they all have these fun prints on them, which I just really like, and it just added a little bit of fun to my collection. Blush brush, love it. Also came with a foundation brush, and this is an angled foundation brush. Um, again, fun print on the handle. My only thing is I don't typically use a brush to put foundation on. I did use this a couple times to test it out, and it worked. I'm just not a fan of putting it on with, um, with a brush. So I either use my fingers or like a sponge. So it works. Um, I just don't have a big opinion on it because I don't really use them. The next ones are all eyeshadow brushes. So it came with this regular eyeshadow brush which I really like. Um, I just want you to keep in mind that it is a big brush. In comparison, this is my e.l.f. regular eyeshadow brush, and you can see just the difference in the size of it. And this is my e.l.f. C brush on the studio line, which again, you can just see that the Sonia Kashuk brush is a lot bigger. It's a very big brush, but it does the job. Now, I happen to have a really big eyelid and space up here, so I can really get in with this and pack in the color. If you have more of a hooded eye or a smaller eye, this may not be the best brush for you because it is really large. But I happen to really like it. I've had no problems with it. It does really get in there and pack on color, so that's a good one. Same thing with the fluffy brush. Is This is the fluffy brush that it came with, and it's a really good, it's almost a little bit pointed at the top, it's long, and in comparison, this is my e.l.f. fluffy brush, and you can see the Sony Kashuk one is just a, a bit bigger, so they're, they're bigger, and I don't know, because I don't own any of her other brushes, if this is how all the brushes are, or just the ones in this, um, in this pack. So this is good, getting in the crease, fluffing it out, buffing it out, getting up in here to put a little highlight in. It's a great brush and I do really like it. Next is a small brush like this and this has been a perfect brush for putting my eyeshadow right under in here or even just getting a little bit in the crease if you want to really define it. In comparison, this is my Essence of Beauty brush. The difference is, you can see, my Essence of Beauty brush has um, a pointed tip and is a little bit denser. This is a little bit um, not as compact, so but it is good for just getting in here, putting some color, getting a little bit more definition in the crease. Great brush. And last came with a just an eyebrow comb, um, which I needed a new one of these, so this was perfect. It works. 
I don't really think there's much different than eyebrow comb, so it works. Fun handle, good. This was a good buy for me. The only thing I didn't like was the clutch that came with it. And this is the bag that came with it, and it was in the packaging like this. And I thought that this would open, like, you know, like totally open, and I'd be able to put my brushes in it, like it had little pockets for it, which is what I was hoping for, but that's not what this is. This is all that this does, is it's just a clutch like this. And um, the problem I have with it is when I put like one of my brushes in here, you, I don't know if you can see, but it's not protected at all. And it, it actually like bubbles up and you can feel it. So I don't even want to put like my makeup in it because I'm afraid that it's going to break the packaging. So I love the brushes, hate the clutch. I don't even use this. And the only reason I still have it right now is for this video. So. Um, if you do see it, go ahead and pick it up for the brushes themselves. Um, maybe if you want to use that as a clutch to go out, you can, but for me, just didn't work. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is um, a BB cream that I picked up, and this is the Rimmel BB cream, and it's 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Makeup, and I have this in shade Light. Um, I've never used a BB cream before, and I've been pretty limited with the foundations I'm using. Foundation's kind of a new thing that I'm getting into. So this was a little bit of new territory, and I wanted to try the BB creams. So the claim on these is it's a skin perfecting super makeup, nine in one results, primes, moisturizes, minimizes pores, conceals, covers, smooths, mattifies, brightens, and helps protect lasts all day. I'm pretty happy with this product. I, um, I do like what it does, and what's also really fun about it is it has an SPF 25 in it, so it protects your skin in the summertime, which is good. I like it. It is thicker than a normal um, foundation, like liquid foundation would be, and I think because it has all that other stuff in it, so it is a little bit thicker when you put it on, And um, but it does, once it's on there, it does a good job of what it says it's supposed to do. And I do find that, I don't know if it minimizes my pores and stuff, but it does mattify. It gives me a good base to work on. So I'm pretty happy with the um, Rimmel BB Cream. The next three things I'm going to talk about are different eyeshadow palettes that I picked up. And the first I'm going to talk about is also Sonia Kashuk, which again, I got this on clearance. And this is what it comes in. And this is what it looks like. It's got a mirror up here. All right. So this is what it comes in. These shades are so pretty. Now, it doesn't have the name on it anymore, but if I remember correctly, I think it was like Moroccan Nights or something like that. So, um, I got this on clearance, I think it was about 7 bucks for it, which is a lot less than what her normal eyeshadows are, so if you see something like this, pick it up, it's worth a shot for the couple bucks that it is. Now these colors, it doesn't tell me what each shade is, so I don't know, um, but I'll swatch them for you. You can see, they're very metallic, very shimmery, very metallic, and I'll do them like this so you can kind of see. Okay. They're so pretty. That's like a weird angle. Okay. So they're so pretty. You have this really light, um, light brown. You have like this taupey color, a little bit golden brown, and then this deep brown. Now, I don't know if you can see it in here, but these actually have like flecks of sparkle in them and although I love it when it's on I don't like it when I'm putting it on so what I find with this and I don't know if you can even see it on my palette itself is there's all these little flecks on here when I put these eyeshadows on I get these flecks all over my face so I find with this is that it's better for me to do my eyes first and then take like a big fluffy brush I mean just this is, I use a different one than this, but just brush it off to get all the flecks off and then to do my face, which normally I do my face first and then my eyes. So just with this, keep that in mind that these flecks do get everywhere when you're applying the eyeshadows, but they are beautiful colors. I love this taupey color right here. This is so pretty on the eyelid. And then with this as a highlight, blend these two into a highlight and this in the crease. It's so Pretty, which that taupey color is this one right here. 
Um, so keep that in mind with this, that it is very, very sparkly, very metallic, and these flecks do just kind of get everywhere. But it's a great palette. The eyeshadows last. Um, I use them with a primer. They do last, and it works well. And for about eight bucks. Another eyeshadow palette that I picked up is from the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection. And this is in, center, it's the Center Stage Collection, and this is in Photo Op. And these are the colors in here. Now, I was really drawn to this, like, peachy, corally color, and this color down here, which, um, this one's a little bit more orange, and this is, like, a little bit more peachy. So if you can see those in there. This is a really fun summer palette. The shades are all really nice. I don't know if you can see. This is like a yellow. This is like a lilac. And this is like um, a golden, like a golden coppery type color. A brown copper, I would say. But they're really fun for summer. It gives you a nice summer eye. What's actually kind of neat is these are all, um, they're not sparkle colors. They're pretty matte colors. And they just, if you can see, they're coming off with a little bit of shimmer to them. But this is the yellow. This is the, like, the peach. This is, like, the more of a, co uh, not copper, but more orange. And this is the lilac. And that's, like, the middle one. That's, like, that brownish. Can you get it? There it is. Okay. So let me get it on my hand for you so you can kind of see. All right. So that's that. Um, center color, this is the yellow, the pink, the orange, and the purple. And they're not colors that I would normally all wear together, but when you do put them together, it does make for a nice summer eye. But you can see, these are, these are matte. They're totally matte colors except for the center one, which has some flecks of gold sparkle in it. But other than that, they're all, they're all matte colors, and they just give you a nice, fresh summer eye. So I do recommend this. This was actually on a display in Walgreens. It wasn't with the rest of the Wet n Wild um, Fergie products. So I don't know if this is a limited edition or, or what, but um, this was separate than everything else. So if you're looking for it, check like the other displays in, um, in the store. The last eyeshadow um, compact I'm going to tell you about is a trio from Wet n Wild. And this is in Silent Treatment. And <laughs> that's better. Like all the Wet n Wilds, they specify which each shade is for. So you have um, brow bone, crease, and eyelid. And I was drawn to this because it's kind of neutral colors. Um, and I've just heard really good things about it. I'm dabbling into the Wet n Wild eyeshadows and I'm loving them. They're just so great. So this, what's really cool about this palette is you can get a great smoky eye. These are the three shades. This is the brow bone. I'm going to focus. Brow bone, crease, and the eyelid. And this eyelid color is gorgeous. I am in love with it. So there you go there. This, this color is so pretty. And what I love about this palette is you can take this from a day to night look. And because this middle, this middle crease color can be really heavy during the day, is what you can do is take this top color and this bottom color and wear them during the day. You can um, put this as your highlight and in your inner corner, wear this on your eyelid and deepen it in your crease and then at night, Add this into your crease and under your eye. It makes a beautiful eye look. I am so in love with this. These, um, these eyeshadows are so creamy. They feel so soft going on. And I'm just, I'm becoming a really big fan of the Wet n Wild. There's so many other of these trios that I am just waiting to pick up. And I think they're only like $2.99 or $3.99, something. I think they're $2.99. And you're getting great quality products beautiful pigmented colors. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. I love this. Silent Treatment, I think, is a must-have. It's a great, great look for it.